it's one week since I checked the little boxes with the X and L1 lower width of Coriatus last time. So I have to do it again to see whether uh, larvae has hatched or uh, how, how they eat, whether they uh, take their uh, food or not, or how much I should um, give them. Here you see there's a trace of a of an animal here, of a larvae. So if you take it out, we, we will see the larvae here. It's a, it's already a pretty good L2 larvae. So and they eat a lot of cat food pellets and. Now since one week the, this larvae ate around 10 cat food pellets or at least she chewed it up and probably spread it in the in the box. So what I do, I give some more of these cat food pellets on the top of the of the box and put the larvae back so, uh, so she can eat here from this uh, new uh, pellets that I present to her. And then I wait until she is a L3 larvae and then if she's an L3 then I put her in a new, in a bigger container. This is the, still the egg, the egg positioning um, uh, substrate here. So after about three to four weeks you should change it because then it's full of, of uh, fatal pellets of the larvae and then it starts smelling bad. So. Let's have a look here. Also here you, it is typical uh, big tunnels and also you can you can judge from the fecal pellets how big the larvae uh, could be. This of course is uh, still an L2 because the pellet, the fecal pellet is too small for, for an L3, L3 larvae that's here. Where is it? Oh, okay, so that's here. L3 larvae have a much bigger fecal pellets. So if we take the larvae out just to have a look where she is and how big she is, you will see this is an L2. Voila, here she is. And how long is she? Know that they are around in a big L2 stage. They can be up to five centimeters. Like this one is, is probably a little bit more than four and a half. And what they need to get to L3 is uh, of course more food and a little bit more time. So that's what I give both to them. I put all the material back to the container plus of course the larvae itself into the substrate. Then I give her 10 more cat food pellets or more, a little bit more water probably if you feel it's too dry and then you wait for another week. and. Of course, you don't do not always see uh, a big larvae. It can be that you only see small. Let's see what I have here. The small holes with uneaten pellets on the top. That means you can uh, wait uh, some time till you see really prominent tunnels on the top. Just leave this as it is. Or here, what's that? Seems to be a larvae that has eaten up a lot of pellets and spread them in the material here. And if you want, you can give them a little bit more water and a little bit more food pellets. Of course, to check all this, it's good to have a good bookkeeping like this here, where you just write to every box uh, what kind of pellets or how many you put into the box and so on. So that I can check, here is a G2, number 2. I go here, I see I gave it uh, 9 pellets, 17th of July. That's around one week ago, so it chewed up uh, 9 pellets. That's around 4 grams, that's a lot of material to eat for such a small larvae in such a little time. So let's look what she did with the material. Now here she is, it's a pretty big L2 larvae and she's very active and wants to bite me of course because she doesn't like she doesn't like it when you take her out to the light even though they don't have eyes they feel of course when they are exposed uh, very clearly because they have this hair on the body and these are all uh, very sensitive little hairs where they know 
exactly where they are, whether in a substrate or in a wet substrate or in a dry one or whatever. So now look, this is over five centimeters, so pretty long. Yeah, this is six centimeters long. So it's, it will not uh, be a long time on chill until she is and now three larvae also here I put some more pellets food pellets in close the box that's the whole job if you see a small let's see whether we find a small larvae somewhere now this is a typical a fresh tunnel of an L2 I probably I can show you and I just put some more pellets into the tunnel so she can Crawl, crawl around and eat all, eat it all up till she's really big and fat. And then uh, in the L3 stage, uh, we put her to the next uh, bigger box. So let's see, that's interesting. Now, here I think that's a very, very ultra small, very, very ultra small L1 lorry. This is really just came out of the egg this is not it is so small it's incredible it's around five millimeters so let's have a better let's have a better uh, view here with the microscopic camera whether we can show you this from even closer but it's so little it's hard to make it make it give it a good sharpness here under this microscope but that's going to be this one in her hair probably. And you see be beneath her these small white points wandering around. Uh, these are uh, little animals called Springschwänze in Germany. I don't know exactly the name in English, but I will find out um, and I tell you later. So look, this larvae just came up from the egg where it was laying a little bit deeper in the substrate and now the first thing that they do they come up and now I put here in one egg edge of the box I put a, a pellet and here on the other side I put the cat food pellets and then I probably you can add some more water on this side don't spray it directly onto the lobby then I close it again and then we wait and then we work through all of this Pockets. Although this takes pretty much of time if you want to do it really seriously and write everything into your bookkeeping papers, that can be a long work. But also working in the beetle form has also very meditative uh, moment where you just work and do and watch and think your own things. And it's like uh, working in a garden too. It can be very meditative and cool and the quiet and the nice time to be together with these uh, wonderful creatures of nature. Thank you for watching.